up as nicely as expected. Sliced away. S. Karthik picks up his first straight arm four. And they're up. Caught him! Rattles the stumps again, Saravna Kumar in his first over. A bit of seam movement. Ball cuts in this one, fuller length. Right through the gate. What a delivery. He screamed that. Flat pats it. Jay Kausik for a boom, boom, boomer. Super sixer. And then this down the track. Freeze his arms. What a shot. Moved early. The starter edged. Rather sliced away hard. This time, front of square. That's a maximum. The second boom, boom, boom. A super sixer of Jekau six back. Pulling for four and now pulling for six. Brilliant balance. Good weight transfer. 69 meters there. And he hits it beautifully. Ashwin didn't even attempt it. In the gap, Hari Nishant gets in on the act. He gets it, his first Sri Ram four. Intentional. The initial movement was deep in the crease and the bowler just bowled the perfect length that the batter was waiting for. Sri Ram. Mid 90s. And this has been clobbered down the ground. Hari Nishant is hit it for a boom boom booma six when you toss it up you bowl slightly wider of the batsman and you bowl stump to stump and the higher trajectory batsmen are in a much better position because they're already in line with the ball and it's fantastic striking when he bowl wider he's got to stretch and get closer to the ball that accelerator button Lovely, he tries he passed, he passed. Misunderstanding between the two fielders and it results in a Sriram 4. And he gets him. Hari Nishad missing a one going away. And Indrajit doesn't make the mistake he made the first time. Picks off the bales quite easily. Good innings from Hari Nishad. Just ran past one that was angled across him. Easy regulation stumping for Indrajit. Cut away nicely. A straight arm four to start the over. A much needed one for Jay Kausik. Preempting that. Wasn't a slog sweep. But a hoik over mid wicket for a massive boom boom boom. A super sixer for Jay Kausik. To start the over, then a dot, and this one. Picked up length early, doesn't matter where the deep mid wicket is. Put it 20 rows behind, 73 meter six. Goes along. Ah, Big ah, appeal, oh, that was, that was, that was, massive appeal. And he's given it. Things that have changed. This one is the wrong one. Obviously, stump to stump, hitting top. Struggling. Ah, this year is phenomenal. Swapnil Singh goes first ball. Thanks to a beauty from C.V. Varun. Cleans him all ends up. And he's on a hat-trick. Uh, was a wrong one. Came back in, didn't read it at all. Swapnil swing all at sea. Terrific ball, you missed. Proven shot. Timed exceptionally well. Deserves a Sri Rampo. Flat batted. With excellent results. They're taking on the best bowler. There's the miscue. Sharon Bly. Power catch of the match. Cody's departed. That really isn't on the batter. Good pace and bounce. Sharon Bly, power catch of the match. Knocked him over. 2 and 2 again. He thought Varun Chakravarti picks up two and two. Here's Subodh Bhati. 
Despite the fact this is a crucial stage of the innings, but unfortunately, no feet at all, just the bat all over the place. And that one skittered off the inside edge onto the stumps. Gone, ball slower. This is a great treat to watch. Classic off spinners delivery. The pitch. Fantastic from Ashwin. That's the reason he's close to getting 500 wickets in international cricket. Edge taken. What a catch for sure. That's the Sharon Fly power catch of the match from Shivam Singh. And Subodh Bhatti has his third. A catch. He was not at first slip. He was wider. Diving. Diving low. Definitely, definitely a strong contender for a Sharon Ply. Straight down the ground. Is that an opportunity? Spilt. Could have had his third, Varun. But Sharat Kumar, the fielder, spills it and it goes for a maximum. Full toss and a strong shot, but it bursts through the hands of the fielder, who's still in motion. Hits it well, firmly struck by M. Ashwin. And he gets himself his first Sri Ram four. High in the air, does he have his fourth? Saravna Kumar goes for the catch and gives away a boundary. A big swing and a miss, the big appeal given. You have freeze it here. There is a clear spike when the ball is next to the bat. And Anand, you can stay with the original edition of out. Yeah. Out was the decision and he knew it. Ashwin goes for 10. Rahul. What the? Big edge. And taken nicely. Subodh Bhati. With a really good catch. Another contender for Sharon Fly. Power catch of the match. But Saravna Kumar finishes things off with a three wicket haul, and Panthers are skittled out for one, two, three. Show there from the Madurai Panthers, apart from Kaushik's innings. At number 3, 45 of 34 for him. The rest of the batting lineup was a procession. They had no answers to the spin of Ashwin and Varun. With three wickets. Varun Chakravarti, two. Ashwin, one. Madhivan, and one. But the star with the ball was three wickets for Subodh Bhati. 15 dot balls there. Shot and helped away nicely. Off the mark in style with a Sri Ram 4, Shivam Singh. Omad Ali and Karthik who's at the NCA. That is swatted from Shivam Singh. Dispatched 10 runs of the over with a Sri Ram 4, 10 without loss. On their game. In the end, taken. Good job, Neet Singh picks up the big fish. B Surya with a smart catch, the impact player. And Shivam Singh with an extra bounce. I was talking about it. All hands, no feet. Good field placing in the end. The third man was inside the circle. That's what made that catch possible. I think it's a different beast. Just as we speak about that, the young man Vimal Kumar has pulled him front of square. That's close. That looks plumb. A short ball followed by a fuller one. And Vimal Kumar. He looks like someone who would have scored a lot of runs in like age group cricket. But I would take Ajitesh, I would take Shah Rukh Khan who haven't played a lot of domain. Three formats are different. Nicely timed. Beautifully timed in fact. And Baba Indrajit has his first Sri Ram 4. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. All class. One on the onside and this time even better through the offside. The under-19s. 
Cheeky from Baba Indrajit, almost a maximum. But a one bounce four right in front of us to finish that over. High in the air. Is this a chance? What a stunner! Oh my God, we're having multiple contenders for the Sharon Ply power catch of the match. And that is a stunner from M. Ashwin. Good evening, Sir Ramakrishnan. When you're defending a low score like this, you need to have efforts like that coming in. And uh, M. Ashwin flung himself at the last minute. Mind you, such catches keep swirling away from you. No run, no run. There's no run. The bowler, bowler will be clearly disappointed. Looking to attack the ball, there's been a bit of a misfeel. And it's four runs. What should not have been a single is a four and it's a Sri Ram four. He charges down and the bowler responds with the short delivery. Boy, oh boy, it's another boom boom. Booma, super, six for Aditya Ganesh. Ganesh and B. Indrajit, 26 of 26. Back to back sixes for the Dindical Dragons. The one in the previous over from the left hander. This time, a boom boom booma to Baba Indrajit. Nice weight transfer. Looking good here. This partnership building up. In the gap, should be four. Once it beats the fielder, there's no chance for anyone trying to catch up. That is scream through the leg side from Baba Indrajit. In the air. And he hits him out of the ground. First ball. Not the first time this has happened to Washington Sunda. KV Arun Karthik did it. This time it's Baba Indrajit with a stunner to get to his 50 of just 35 deliveries. What a shot to bring up his 50. Leading this team towards the target. Picks the right delivery. Good stride forward. And boom. High in the air. Missed times that one. That's taken. But I think it's gone the distance. In the air. Three sixes in the over. Finishing things off in a hurry. Now the Indical Dragons. And solid hitting from Baba Indrajit. Just leaning into that one. Wasn't even a big flourish of the bat. That was just pure timing. What a shot. And a nice little boundary to finish things off. 26 runs of that Washington Sundar over. 113 for 3 at the end of 12. The Indical Dragons need 11. He's got that uh, strength. That's a clean strike down the ground. Another 3 round 4 for Indrajit. There is a sweeper out there but he will not prevent them from coming back for the second. That's it. That's a winning moment. The Indical Dragons were in a sport of ball at one stage. After having lost three wickets for 32, but in the jet and Aditya Ganesh ensured that there are going to be no more recaps after the that. Dragons, this is how they went about their chase. There you see at the top of the order, Gojap Need creating a little bit of a harakiri in the Dragons camp. But then in the jet and Aditya Ganesh got to get employing as many as seven bowlers, but. Uh, Getting Ashwin and uh, Washington into the attack was a tad too late. And that is uh, rather a surprise ring. This is how uh, it panned out. Panthers uh, won the toss and died first. And then they were uh, restricted to 123 and the Dragons.